What's up people? So today we're going to look into uh, temperatures uh, after five months of uh, using this uh, 3090, heavy utilization of uh, this uh, 3090. I'm going to let you know if I'm getting anything different from what I used to get. Now the game uh, for this video is going to be Cyberpunk 2077 and these are the softwares that I'm going to use. So we have uh, MSI Afterburner, I need this one for River Statistic, HW Info which gives you a more inside uh, information about temperatures on various things that River Statistic doesn't get, uh, get you, like VRAM temperature and SSD temperature. And this HW info is necessary uh, so you can modify things inside River Statistics and you can add things of what you can display. So you will see in my overlay, for example, the VRAM temperature or the SSD, uh, the M.2 uh, temperature that usually you don't get with the River Statistic alone. And um, the settings that we're going to try, uh, I'm going to apply them with uh, GPU Tweak 3. And um, we're going to go through default mode, OC mode, and full fan speed and for the for the last part of the video we're gonna manually overclock this gpu uh, while we are in full uh, fan speed so let's start let's start with uh, default mode and see what we get basically these are the settings nothing uh, nothing has changed so let's uh, let's jump into it okay so look at uh, let's look at the settings and uh, this ones will stay all the way through the various uh, profiles that we're gonna we're gonna try like overclock and uh, full fan speed and manual overclock and this kind of uh, things so i'm not gonna show them again these are the ones and these are the numbers and i must say that um, in this five months i've kind of gained uh, four degrees celsius four five degrees celsius and uh, i remember that uh, back then um, i was getting around 60 uh, degrees in default mode and everyone was like wow how do you get that temp in default mode you must be using some uh, extra cooling uh, you must be doing something and i had to basically show my uh, case and uh, prove people that um, you know I'm not using anything else extra now after five months look I'm I'm exactly in the same spot that uh, probably everyone else is so yeah this uh, these are the attempts in um, in default mode and I must say that um, in heavy uh, gaming let's say after one or two hours of uh, playing I don't know cyberpunk for example uh, I'm gonna reach even uh, 69, 70 in default mode, in this mode. So, I'm right there uh, with you. And um, I just want to say uh, that, um, well, something that you all probably know. Uh, not all GPUs are made the same. Some samples are better. Some samples are, you know, a little bit weaker in some aspects but in the end they will all end in the same spot and is the case uh, this is the case for the for the gpu for this gpu here after after few months of let's say rotation it's gonna end right there with uh other cards like like it so let's uh, let's try the the other mode so this is the oc mode which doesn't uh, do much it just gives you a 5% uh, increase on power draw and uh, adds like 30 megahertz on core and I used to get around 65 66 uh, degrees at this point uh, now I'm uh, reaching near 70 so uh, yeah things are you know getting better and better <laughs> so I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna leave a few minutes to to run this one, this mode, and uh, see if uh, we hit 70. I don't think so, but who knows? And as you can see, as you can notice, the the fans ramp up a little bit, and the power draw is higher than 
uh, than we used to to have. Uh, 365 is the the standard power draw for for this game and this GPU, and um, here we have around 400 watts, which is already too much uh, because in matter of performance, uh, it's barely noticeable uh, something extra. So. Um, all the time that I played this game, I played it in like default uh, GPU mode, uh, maximum settings because you're getting around 40, uh, 5, 46 uh, FPS, and uh, yeah, no overclock because that's uh, just insane. And you will see uh, what you're getting with overclock, let's say 100 megahertz on uh, core clock and uh, 200 on the on the memory so stay close because that one is coming oh yeah another thing that i want to mention this is not about my driving skills so <laughs> keep that in mind when you watch this uh, painful painful uh, clip So for this one I'm gonna leave the OC mode on, that gives you a 105 power draw and core clock is gonna be plus 30 megahertz. We're gonna ramp up uh, the fan speed to all the way to 100% and um, you might expect that uh, you're gonna see some performance improvement uh, at this stage with this kind of uh, cooling but uh, no it's not uh, it's not the case and uh, in a way i'm i'm surprised because um, i'm surprised by the temperature because um, when i used to ramp up the the fans at this uh, this level i used to get around 55 uh, degrees and now look at those temps i've landed where everyone else is i think so uh, that uh, brings me back to that uh, discussion that uh, not all the GPUs are made uh, the same but they all land in the same spot in the end. So it is the same situation with this, uh, with this one here. Now let's talk a little bit about overall performance uh, of this GPU uh, in this uh, five months of uh, utilization. As you can imagine, it pretty much uh, destroys everything you, tro uh, you throw at it in matter of uh, gaming. But this uh, this GPU obviously is not the best choice if you're doing gaming only. So 3080 represents a much better option because it gives you, let's say, with only uh, less 10-15% 10, 10, uh, less performance, but a much much better price. Um, so yeah, another thing that I would mention, this insane power draw that um, is going to be felt on your uh, on your build. Definitely, you're going to notice that you have another monster in your in your closet. Uh, but this is a GPU for very long run. I mean, the amount of VRAM and performance that this uh, this one gets you is gonna is gonna take you all the way through the next uh, generation and. That, that was the, the purpose, the main purpose that uh, um, contributed to, to the decision that I took because I didn't want to, you know, to do any upgrades until the next uh, flagship from NVIDIA which probably is going to be the 4000 uh, series 
uh, something we love. I forgot. Uh, I forgot the name. Anyway, yeah, uh, it definitely is gonna keep you all the way through a whole uh, generation of uh, cards. So, yeah, very satisfied about uh, this aspect. So we got to the most important uh, and interesting part of this video, the manual of clock. Now the power draw is to the max, uh, obviously fan speeds are 100% and the core clock is going to be 150 megahertz plus and memory is going to be 200 megahertz settings are already applied and uh, will run for a while i know i can go higher on the memories but i just don't really want to push my luck uh, i have some bad experience uh, with the 2080 ti and uh, you know the availability is not uh, just there yet so uh, these are the temps uh, after five months uh, these are the numbers and thank you for watching see you soon in the next one